I'm Anil Kumar. Let us practice second derivative of trigonometric functions. The question here is determine second derivative of g of x equals to 10 square x. So we are given g of x equals to 10 square x. Derivative of g of x will be. Uh, we could treat this as you can write this as like this 10x whole square, right? So you could apply the power rule first. It will be 2 times 10x times derivative of 10x. Now derivative of 10x is secant square x. We could write this as 2 times 10x times secant square x. At this time, let us try to simplify this. 10x could be written as sin x over cos x. Secant square x is 1 over cos square x. So that gives us uh, 2 sin x in the numerator and the denominator will be cos cube x. So that becomes the derivative of the given function. Now we'll find the second derivative of this function, right? So let's write down the second derivative from here. So we'll apply the quotient rule. So second derivative is applying the quotient rule here square of the denominator which is cos 6x right square of q derivative of the first function which is 2 cos x times the denominator cos cube x minus first function which is 2 sin x derivative of this denominator so derivative will be 3 cos square x times derivative of cos x which is minus sin x correct so that is the derivative of the function now let's try to simplify it so what we have here is 2 cos to the power of 4x and minus and minus becomes plus 2 times 3 is 6 uh, and we have sin square x cos square x divided by cos to the power of 6x. Well, we could divide this, these two, we could write this as, I'm you know, showing you how to get the next step. We are dividing each by cos to the power of 6x plus 6 sine square x cos square x divided by cos to the power of 6x. Now, 4 and 6, so we get 2. So we get 2 over cos square x and here we could write this as uh, we could write this as uh, 6 times sin square x over cos square x for example. This is 6 right so I'll write this in powers of 2. So so one of let me simplify first. So this will cancel off giving us 4 now correct so we have 2 cos square x which I'll write as sin square x over cos square x times 1 over cos square x right I hope you appreciate it so cos square x divided by cos to the power of 6x so we're left with cos to the power of 4x which I'm writing here like this right so this could be written as 2 secant square x plus 6 cos over sine over cos is tan square x right tan square x and that is secant square x now secant square x is common right two secant square x is common so we are left with one plus three six divided by two three tan square x right so that becomes the derivative second derivative i should say second derivative of the given function right so that is how you could solve it i hope that helps thank you